My name is Makoto Sakamoto. I started high school this spring. I picked a top-level school because of how close it was to home. They miraculously accepted me. That means I don't have to wake up early. Makoto, are you awake? Mm -mm. Oh my gosh, you're in high school. Ever heard of responsibilities? Moeka-chan is already here, you know. Why'd you hear so early? She's always like this. Hey, Makoto, you're finally up. You sleep way too much, by the way. I know, right? Uh, why are you enjoying breakfast with my mom, Mocha? I was close to Mocha Yagami in middle school. We ended up getting into the same high school as well. Mocha has a bright personality. She becomes popular wherever she goes. You two are the only ones from the same middle school who got into Manten High School. You're bound together by destiny. Uh, do you really think so, Mother? Cut it out! I'm leaving now! I left the house in a hurry. My mom is always finding ways to embarrass me. Makoto! Morning! Hey, it was Mokachan! Morning. You guys are always together. <laughs> Were you friends from before? Yep, we're childhood friends. I guess. That's awesome! I wish I had a childhood friend to wake me up in the mornings. <laughs> I never expected my life to be like this either. But you're lucky it did. You should be grateful to have me. Yeah, yeah, Mocha, you belong in a different classroom. You should get going. That was impossible that they are not dating when they're this close! It's like they're purposefully trying to make me jealous. Everybody thinks that Mocha is my childhood friend. And whenever somebody asks us, she says we are. But the truth is, I met Mocha right before my last year in middle school started. So that means it's only been a little over a year since I first met her. But I don't go out of my way to tell the truth. It would be a hassle to explain why we we're so close. After school, I'm home! Oh, Makoto, you're home early. I have some things I need to take care of. He won't even come over to hug me. I should get started right away. I had to work, although I'm not getting paid for it yet. I always make time for it coming home from school. Time to brainstorm! I make manga during my free time. I've been doing this for a while. I enjoy coming up with stories and creating manga from them. I didn't used to have any free time for this since I was studying for high school entrance exams. I should start writing down everything while I still have the time. Makoto, what are you going to write about after you finish this one? Mocha is always behind me, hovering over my shoulder. Hmm, I was thinking of using famous Japanese stories and fairy tales to create another world fantasy. What? I thought you said you were going to write about some spy action story. I did, but there's this girl I met while I was on duty at the library. Makoto kid, you make manga? That sounds so cool! Nah, it's not that big of a deal. Majiro san, do you read any manga? I tend to read novels over manga. I know novels aren't so popular these days. Oh, but I read this book where some famous Japanese writers were merged with fictional characters. I had fun reading that since I had never seen anything like that. Wow, that sounds pretty interesting. I never thought of that. But I'm getting ideas as I'm talking to you. Really? I hope I get to read it when you finish. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> My conversation with her got me thinking about how I could make the idea bigger. But I mean, it's just an original manga. I'm not sure if I'll show her even if I do finish. I see. That's the girl with glasses and braided hair, right? Yeah, that's her. Wait, but you're in a different class. How would you know who Majiro-san is? What the? Uh, why are there handcuffs? I can't stand it anymore. M mocha san Why are you cuffing us together? I bought handcuffs with my allowance because you said you were going to write about spies. What? Th thank you? But why do you have to use the handcuffs on me? I've been acting like a dedicated childhood friend just for you, Makoto. Uh, nobody asked you to do that. Wait, that was all an act. Because... I still remember. It happened a little over a year ago. I moved to this area because of my father's work. Uh, spring break three days after my first day of school. I haven't made any friends. I'm so alone and pathetic. I finished unpacking my things, but had nothing to do. Hey, uh, I think I saw them at school. I should hide. So what do you think about that Moeka girl? Uh, there's nothing special about her. Hard to think she's from the city. <gasps> I heard her house is pretty big. Her family must be rich. Ew, she must think she's above us just like all the other rich city kids. I hate girls like her. 
<laughs> That's hilarious. It had only been three days, but the girls in my class were already bad-mouthing me. There was no way I would be making friends. Or that's what I thought. Hey! Huh? You're Yagami-san, right? The new girl. Uh, yes, I am. And you are? Oh, I'm Sakamoto. Makoto Sakamoto. I don't blame you for not knowing. Um, uh, can I help you? Uh, the thing is, well, you're standing in right in front of the manga I want. Huh? Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. I recommend this manga. It has so many twists and turns, I can never predict what's gonna happen. He seems like such a nice guy, and he's easy to talk to. Um, do you have any advice? I want to make more friends. Huh? Well, the girls? Uh, never mind. Uh, please forget I said anything. She must want to make friends because she's new here. Do you want me to lend you the manga popular among the girls in our class? Huh? I'm really into reading manga. I even draw some of my own. That's why I have it. I can bring it over if you want. Uh, really? The next day, Makoto came over to lend me the manga he was talking about. Hey, it's a manga for girls. <laughs> uh, that's embarrassing for me to buy, but it has a great story. I enjoyed reading it. Oh. oh, the childhood friend of the main character is such a good person. She's really amazing. Keep reading until the end of the third book. I promise you'll have tears in your eyes. Oh, be crying? I love characters who are passionate about something. It's so attractive. Oh. From that day on, I did my best to become a girl worth your attention. That's how I ended up with the loving childhood friend role. But now this freak with glasses is coming in between us. Uh, hold up. You're talking like a completely different person. So you've been acting this whole time? <laughs> and that hairpin. Yes, it's the hairpin the childhood friend from the manga you lent me wore. I bought it online. Did you know how hard I looked for this? I'm not sure I understand why you did that. I never told you I wanted a childhood friend like figure in my life. What? I thought you wanted to have a childhood friend. I even changed my hair and makeup to look more like her. M Mocha? Uh, anyways, I can't take it anymore. I don't want to watch you being affected by that stupid, braided hair girl with ridiculous glasses. How could you? My world revolves around you, you know that? M Mocha, let's take a breath, okay? Why? Am I not enough for you? I can act out any role if you want. If that will help you create better manga. I don't want you looking at other girls. You should be looking at me. Mocha. You brought these handcuffs over to help me with my manga, right? You're always the one supporting me through everything, but... Wait, there's something more important I have to say. Mocha, I had no idea you had Yandir characteristics. I love it! What? I only thought Yandir characters existed in the two-dimensional world, but... I'm in awe. You are a real Yandir, here and alive! Y you like it? So, you don't need me to be a caring childhood friend character? No, of course not. You've been my number one supporter this whole time. You're the only one who cares about me the way you do. I don't care what kind of character you are. I like you just the way you are. <laughs> Thank you, Mocha. I'd be nothing without you. I'm so sorry. I was being selfish. I was scared that I wouldn't matter to you anymore. You're the one who saved me when I needed it. I didn't want to lose you. You dummy. There's nothing you can do to make me leave you. Uh, but still. Oh, uh, there's just one thing I want to ask. Okay, what? Do you think you can take these handcuffs off now? Oh, I had forgotten about these. Just a second. I have the keys right, right, uh... Hmm? Uh... Mokasan? Yes? Please tell me you have the keys with you. This isn't an, oh my gosh, I forgot the keys situation, is it? <laughs> that situation might be the right way to explain this. Seriously, what are we going to do about this? Uh, let's ask your mother to break the handcuffs. No, let's not do that. Please don't tell her. That's going to lead to a terrible misunderstanding. In the end, we found the keys laying at the bottom of Mocha's bag. We reached a mutual understanding that nothing was going on with Majura-san, and Mocha became my girlfriend that day. I guess we could say this is our happy ending. Makun! It's almost as if you live in this room, Mocha. You told me you weren't going to write that fantasy manga. So what have you decided to write about? 
Well, all I can say is you'll find out what I finish. What? That's so unfair. <laughs> I'm sure you'll love it. No way. Makun, have you gotten back with that girl from the library again? M Mocha, are you becoming a Yandir again? This can't be happening. Makun is mine. Calm down, Mocha. You have to stop freaking out. What did you think of today's episode? Please come back tomorrow for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.